my butterflies, Jin here. Welcome back to When You Met With Jin. Well, I guess welcome to, not welcome back to, because same channel, new name, in case you guys didn't catch the intro. So about that, I know I've been blindly honestly for a long, 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 long time, like since day one. And it was a good name when I was doing reviews. Like if you look back on my older videos, I did mainly reviews. I didn't really start getting into just, just tutorials and how to's and stuff like that until like a year into it. And it's been almost three, three and a half years, I think. Yeah, about three and a half years since I've been doing YouTube, almost four now. And um, I kind of just figured it was time to have more of a personal name where Blindly Honestly was kind of impersonal, you know, it was kind of just like an AOL screen name, if that makes sense. If you're old enough, that'll make sense. So I decided to just go with something just a little bit more personal. Winging it with Jen just felt more personal, more fun, you know, I had my name in it, so a lot of people were like, oh, what's your name? Even though I said my name in the very beginning of every video, I would constantly still get questions from my followers on social media, like, what was your name? So I decided to throw my name into the username just to kind of help people connect more, if that makes sense. So anyways, on to the video. I'm gonna stop rambling to make this not a super long video. <laughs> so today's video is going to be my skincare or nighttime skincare routine. And I'm also going to be doing a review. <laughs> so I was actually sent a product to review about a month ago. And I was going to originally just review the first time impression, but I decided on top of not having time to sit down and film to keep using it even though I wasn't able to film right away, that way I could have more of an in-depth thought and review of the product. So let me show you the product. So this is the product. It is a spinning facial brush. So the brand is Duval and they had contacted me a few months ago to do the, a product review. So on top of seeing the brush to review, they also gave me a discount code. So after watching my video, if you are interested in trying this product, I will have a link down below for you guys to test it out. And the discount code is going to be Rosemary. And the code Rosemary will get you 70% off your order. And it is expensive on their website. It is $95, I believe. So you're gonna wanna take advantage of the $70 discount code if you're interested. So this is the brush. It, it comes with four different attachments. So you have the two facial attachments. One is a cleanser, which is, so one is the cleaner, which is a softer bristle. One is an exfoliator, which is more of a thicker and harsher, not, well, not exactly harsh, but firmer bristles. It also has a pumice stone for your feet, which come in handy. I've used this a few times because my feet get very, very dry during the summertime. So it comes in handy a lot because you can just kind of sit there and let it do its own thing. And the one thing I haven't really used on this, because I haven't really had a need, because I feel like my bath sponge does a good enough job. But it also comes with a large body brush, which is this big old hunkin' thing. And these things all have the little attachment on the back. So you just attach them on there, the button, and it goes. Quick and easy, one speed, turn it on and it goes. So what I decided to do is go ahead and show you guys my full nighttime skincare routine. And I'm gonna include this into it, show you how I use it. So I'm going to put my hair up and change into a nighttime shirt because I'm gonna be getting into the water. So, okay, so now that the hair is up, jewelry off, fancy shirt off, I'm going to go ahead and start my skincare routine. Uh, this look, if you're curious, it is with the Jackie Ina palette from Anastasia Really Hills, and I have that review coming up very, very soon. So, I'm going to be kind of like this way. I know my camera's over here, but it's going to be kind of hard for me to have you over the, the sink. So I'm gonna turn you this way so you can still see my face a little bit. 
hopefully. So when I wash my face, I use a two-step routine. So my first step is with oil cleanser, and this is the Neutrogena Ultra Light Cleansing Oil. This is my favorite cleanser because it really breaks down all the product on your face, even eyelash glue, it really does a good job getting it all off. There will still be some residue left behind, but I feel for me, it is the best cleanser I've used. And even with my oily skin, it really helps a lot. Personally, I believe in fighting oils with oils. So if you use an oil cleanser with an oil with oily skin, it is gonna help counteract that oil production on your face and make it not as bad. When I was before using, I don't remember what cleanser I used to use before. I think it might have been Cetaphil. It would leave my skin feeling very, very dry afterwards. Once I switched to this, I've been using this product for about a year and a half now. I don't have that dry, nasty feeling after I wash my face anymore. So after I do my oil cleanse, I follow with a jelly cleanser. You're probably gonna laugh at me right now because of the size of this bottle. I am obsessed with the Bliss, um, I don't know if you'd call them cosmetics or Bliss Co. I'm just gonna call them Bliss Co. with their jelly cleanser. And I go through those bottles really, really quickly because I wash uh, twice a day, once in the morning, once at night. So I went on Amazon <laughs> and I ordered this, what is it? 17.2 fluid ounce size bottle of the Bliss Jelly Cleanser. Yeah, the addiction is real. <laughs> so this is what I will use with the spinning brush. I use it every other day, not every day, just because I worry about over exfoliating my skin. You could probably get away with doing it every day if your skin's okay with that. Personally, with my skin, do it every single day instead of spacing it out. I feel like my skin does start to feel a little drier. So I will only use it Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays. And then Saturday and Sundays, I do not use it. I just do it normally by hand. So I'm gonna go ahead and jump in and wash my face. First step is taking off these lashes. Okay, so with the Neutrogena cleanser, you don't need to use water. You just put a few pumps on your hand and then you rub it on your face and it'll start breaking down everything. And then once I usually rub it on my face for about 60 seconds. And then you add water and that activates the cleanser inside the oil to really get in there and break down everything. Okay, so after you've rubbed your face enough, you need to get your hand wet. I like to do this with warm water and I do this for another 60 seconds. So that whole time I was washing my face, I had the hot water running because before I rinse off my oil, I like to steam because that really opens up your pores so that anything that's stuck in those pores will kind of pop out so that when you use the exfoliator, it's really going to get in there and clean everything off. So you want to get the water as hot as you can stand and make sure you get your towel very, very soaked. So I kind of just leave it running underneath there the whole time I'm washing my face. And then I'm going to go ahead and put this over my face and steam for again 60 seconds. Okay, so the next part, I like to do this with the water cold. So I grab the softer bristles, which is the cleansing uh, attachment, get it a little bit wet. And this brush is completely waterproof. I've used it in the shower a few times for days when I don't wear makeup and I just cleanse in the shower. So I'm going to take my jelly cleanser and just one little pump, not a lot. I'm going to wet my face again and then turn it on. I'm just going to do gentle little circles all over. And yes, I am broken out all over my chin right now. You want to make sure you get in there to every little part of your face. And you don't want to put a lot of pressure down when you're doing this. You just kind of want to hold it above your skin and let, let it do its own thing. So I really like this brush because I've had other uh, spinning facial brushes that were much more harsher than this one, even with the two different attachments that it had. It was definitely a harsher one. 
And that one, I believe, was just a Target brand one. But yeah, this one is definitely more gentler on the skin. The speed is like a perfect speed for just a gentle cleanse. And I like that there's not like multiple speed settings. I don't think I've ever seen one that did though, so. Okay, so without rinsing our face, we're gonna leave the cleanser that's on there. And I'm going to grab my exfoliating attachment, which is the one that is a bit more uh, rougher. And we're gonna exfoliate. And again, I also do this one for 60 seconds. That's pretty much the magic rule for my skincare is 60 seconds. I'm sure we've all seen Kylie Jenner's skincare video where she rubs her face like super harsh for, I don't know, 10 seconds and then she's done. That's not the way you should do it, please. So now we're going to rinse our face. Okay, right back. Okay, so I'm drying and personally, when you're washing your face, I personally say don't air dry your face because that's how you get micro tears. You want to pat dry your face gently with a dry towel. Okay, so next is acne care. Okay, so my battery died without me realizing it. So basically what I did was apply my acetic acid, which is a 2%. This is a Noxzema Ultimate Clear Anti-Blemish Pad, it's acne pads. The acetic acne acid is supposed to help fight acne and clogged pores. Before I was using a 5% and I really don't remember the brand that I was using before that was a 5%. Um, I, it just got to be too strong for my skin. I would put it on my whole face would be red. So I switched to a 2% which is much more gentler on the skin. So next I'm going to do my glycolic acid, which is to cleanse and condition skin tone. Before I was using the Pixie by Petra brand, it was a little expensive. So thank God, my favorite brand in the world, Makeup Revolution came out with their own version of the glycolic acid. This is a 5% glycolic acid. So this is basically a toner for your skin to tone your skin. So I'm just going to apply a little bit on a cotton pad. And if you've ever used the Pixie by Petra, you know it has kind of a floral -y smell to it. This one doesn't have a floral smell to it, but it does have kind of like a sweet smell to it. So I'm just going to apply this all over. Let that dry before we go to our next step. Okay, our next step is the lactic acid and hyaluronic acid combo. This is 5% and this is just a mild skin exfoliant. I know some people don't like to do like actual skin exfoliant with a acid exfoliant, but for me personally, I feel like my skin feels much better doing both. So I kind of stick to both. I personally haven't noticed my skin reacting to doing both at the same time. So if your skin is more sensitive, I don't suggest you do both a heavy duty exfoliate like with the spinner brush and an acid exfoliant. So I'm just going to apply two little drops, three. So I'm just going to apply a little bit on my face and then rub it in. I don't use any type of applicator for this. I just use my hands and rub it in. So before I was using the Good Jeans Lactic Acid by um, Sunday Riley. I love their stuff. I also swore by the um, night, night Luna Oil. Oh, I love how that stuff smelled and I loved how my skin felt with it. But I could just not simply afford $100 plus for skincare products. So that is why I've switched to the Makeup Revolution brand. I honestly swear by their skincare line. Like I said, I use the glycolic acid, the lactic hyaluronic acid, and I also use the 0.2% retinol, the fine line correcting serum. I've honestly been having trouble finding this one on the website, so I don't know if it was discontinued, but 
just in case it was discontinued, I went ahead and purchased two boxes from Ulta because I was paranoid that they're not gonna have it anymore. And one bottle will usually last about six months. So I'm good for a while. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and apply my retinol. And again, this is just for fine line, fine line correcting. So any like wrinkles on your eyes, creases on your chin or on your noses, stuff like that. That's where I tend to get most of my marks. But you wanna be careful about applying too much of this product because or else you're gonna feel very, very oily. And if you have excess on your face, you can always, always move it down to your neck because your neck will appreciate it, especially as you get older. That was a tip I learned from Stephanie Nicole. All right, so I'm gonna let those sink into my skin a little bit. And while I do, I'm gonna go ahead and let you guys know my thoughts on the Duval Radiance skincare system. Honestly, I love it. Like, at first, I'm not gonna lie, I was a little skeptical about it. I was like, oh, another spinning brush. Like, I know there's tons on the market. Personally, this has become my new routine. Like I said, I use it Monday, Wednesdays, and Fridays. It's part of my routine my weekly go-to. My skin feels amazing and smooth after I do it. Like, if I skip it on a Wednesday or a Monday or whatever the days I use it, I definitely feel a difference in my skin. It feels more rough. And I've noticed too, when I apply my makeup, it looks a lot better. Um, if you follow me on on my Twitter, at Jen, I recently posted a up-close video, or picture and video of my face like I never ever post videos raw edited videos on Twitter because of my face and we all know that cell phone cameras are not at all forgiving but personally I feel like it really looked a lot better since I switched to using this brush than before so I highly highly suggest it like I said I'm going to put the link down below Make sure you use my discount code ROSEMARY for 70% off of this really good brush. Like, it does everything. You have your body exfoliator, the Puma Stone for your feet, the exfoliator, and the cleanser. That's four in one, so it's definitely worth it at least to try it out. For me, I personally give it a full 10 out of 10. It works really good. Batteries last a long time. Like I said, I've been using it for almost a month now. I've not had to change the batteries. My only issue with the brush itself it comes in this package which has little slots for all the pieces i really wish that it came in like a plastic container or something like that so that it was easy to store but i do have space personally i have space on my my bathroom counter to put all the attachments and the brush and all that but for those who don't who have very limited space in their bathroom i feel like um Offering the option to have the plastic case like some other brushes do would definitely be very very like Would definitely be a huge sell point, but that's just my two cents <laughs> So That's it you guys. That's my review on the Duvel Radiant skincare system. I highly suggest it 10 out of 10 except for I wish I had a plastic container for storage and That's my skincare routine for nighttime Daytime is pretty much the same thing for daytime though I just do my jelly cleanser, I apply my Noxzema, and I moisturize. That's all I do in the daytime. I don't do a whole lot. Nighttime is where I really just pack it on. So I'm going to apply my moisturizer. I'm going to go brush my teeth, put my retainers on, lay in bed and watch Ghost Adventures, and go to bed. If you guys liked the video, please do me a favor. Hit that like button and subscribe and share with me with your friends so they can enjoy it as well. And if you want to join the hashtag Butterfly Squad, yes, it's still a thing. Make sure you ring my bell because that way you'll be notified every time I upload new videos. I'm trying to upload every week or every other week. School is just, it's kind of hard for me to sit down and film after school. You guys, you've heard the sob story a million times. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you have any questions or comments, please drop them down below. I'd love to hear from you. And with that, I'm gonna wish you all a good night. So I wish you guys lots of love and whiskers and I will see you the next one. Love you, bye.
Thinking it's time I 